So in the graphing today, I've got Bangladesh. Uh, I've got a five year gap. So in column A, I've got the country. In column B, the year of the data. And then from column C to L, I've got the indicators of uh, well-being that I've selected or that the data has provided. So we're looking at the percent of people who are multidimensionally poor and deprived in each of those indicators. So we can do a temporal um, comparison, uh, comparison over time, and look at how it's either improved or uh, become worse. I've got Nigeria and Mozambique as well as Nepal and India. So it's really important to set up your data correctly because then we can access the graphing quite easily. So you can see there's no gaps and it's really um, quite tidy. So what we'll do is we'll go up to insert recommended charts. Now I would suggest that we try a couple of different charts. The clustered bar graph is always a good one to compare data and you can see the change over time there well, but we want to uh, hit all charts and we want to go to radar. And then I like the radar with markers because it um, pinpoints where the data sits on the radar graph. So we've just hit OK and I'm going to expand that a little bit. I'm going to highlight that because I, I want to change the color. I want to go uh, green for the marker and I want a different green for the line um, so that my data pops and I can see where it sits. I'm also going to do that for the 2015 data. And I'm going to go yellow, being the similar colors of the Indian flag. So I'm going to go with that. I'm then going to label the chart and I'm going to make that so I can see it. And then all I'm going to do is type in And um, that works well. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the grid line. So I want a primary minor horizontal because that will give me uh, an indicator of where it actually sits in the data on the graph. I'm going to expand that. And you can change it around and do different graphs. That one's quite nice, but I don't know how it would print out. Um, you can see it's changed again. Um, so Let's just go back and there's my graph again. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, that's about all I do. We can see here that the cooking fuel has um, gone from uh, 52.9 down to uh, 26, so it's half. So you can hold on the data and you could write an analysis of this particular graph and uh, write about how uh, the conditions of well-being have improved in, in most indicators for India in the past decade. Um, even child mortality, you can see here, has halved in the past decade. So improvements made throughout India, you could link that to the emerging economy of India, and that would be a really um, powerful analysis of this data in particular. I hope that's helped. Uh, what we'll do is I'll get you to right-click on that once it's highlighted, copy and paste that into a Word document and send it to me. So I'd like uh, my year tens to do Bangladesh and Nepal and make a comparison uh, radar graph for those. Um, thanks for listening. Talk to you next time.